Welcome back to Detective Lessons with Nick Mandrake. As you can tell, I'm Nick Mandrake and I'm here at a house in Echo Park. We've been staking out this house for some time. Stakeouts are one of the hardest things you're ever going to have to do. They're time consuming, they're long, they're boring. It's so hot out. I've been here since about 6 in the morning and there's really been no movement or progress at the house. The house belongs to one Julia Betton. Now, technically, she is my ex-girlfriend, but, you know, love is a complicated bitch. So now, with her cooperation, we're using her house as a stakeout point. We're just going to see, you know, who comes and goes from her house, specifically who's, who's leaving her house in, in the morning. The hardest part about a stakeout is it's so fucking boring. You're just sitting here and you just keep sitting here while she's up there doing whatever she's doing with whoever she's doing. There's a lot of things you can do to keep yourself entertained on a stakeout. You can, you know, stare through her windows longingly or, you know, check out other neighbors. No, actually, it's terrible advice. If you're on a stakeout, you probably shouldn't just be checking out other neighbors. Another way to pass the time is to make up stories about the person that you're, you know, watching. Some of the stories that I like to make up about Julia are that, you know, just fun stuff like taking her out to the movies or all those things we used to do when she loved me. Oh. Uh, nah, uh, what? What were we, what were we talking about? It's always good to not be seen during a stakeout. So try to make yourself as inconspicuous as possible by covering your face. See? They wouldn't have suspected anything. You have to be mindful of your surroundings at all times. See? You hear that? Those are birds. I, I got nothing. Stakeouts suck. Stakeouts suck. They suck so bad. They suck. They suck as much as she is probably in there just, 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 just triple dick in it. Just three, three guys just in her mouth. There's, just, I know it. I know that there's three guys in her mouth right now. What kind of girl gives three guys blowjobs at 9.30 in the morning? She does, because she's awesome. God, I miss her so much. I miss her so much. Stakeouts suck. Do I play 20 questions? Okay. It's a person. Uh, is it a girl? Yes. That's one. Is it Julia? No. Yes. It's always Julia. Oh god, it's the only thing that takes the edge off these fucking stakeouts. I don't even care anymore, really. Man, these episodes go downhill fast. Why do you keep filming when I'm crying? and drunk. And don't say it's because you're always crying and drunk because I fucking know I'm always crying and drunk. That's not what my question is, man. I'm not, you're drunk and crying. I'll make you cry while you're drunk. See how you like it, not very much. Because it'll be crying and people don't like to cry because it means they're sad. So fuck you. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Stakeouts are so boring. It's only been like an hour. Okay, again, you have to stop yelling. <laughs> oh fuck, where are we? Are we still on this stakeout? We really should not have parked so close to her house. This is a terrible location for a stakeout. Oh shit, I think someone got somebody coming out the door. There's some fucking guy coming out of her Come out of her house! Look at this dick bag! Oh, I'm gonna fuck this guy up! I didn't think she was actually fucking cheating on me! Yeah, I know, we're sort of broken up. Oh, let's see what fucking car he is. In future tips, don't stick your whole body out the window and take photos of your subject. But this is a fucking exception. Next, next episode, on detective lessons, uh, we're gonna teach trailing a suspect in a fucking car to their place. This guy's fucking dead. 